settle in. Let her run. So we're out here today um, at the new Idaho State Observatory in the Brutal Sand Dunes. So we're going to be sealing some block today. So it's a pretty cool project. We've got um, really cool. We're going to show you the dome that rotates and opens. They're going to be mounting a state-of-the-art telescope in this um, in this building. So we're going to be sealing some block today, uh, inside and outside, to make this thing last. They wanted something on the outside of this block to seal it, to really waterproof it, and then protect it from salt and chemicals. So any efflorescence or salts and stuff wanted to protect this natural zone so it looks natural like this. We don't want any sheen to it, but I'm gonna be using a silicone-based um, emulsion coating to put on here to waterproof it. And it's also gonna give it some UV protection, but it's not gonna change the color of it and stuff. And being silicone-based, one thing you need to know is once you put it on there, you can't top coat it with anything. If you wanted to use a solid color stain down the road, you're not gonna be able to do it because it is silicone based and nothing sticks to silicone. We're using a Tri-Tech T4 sprayer. You're just gonna be spraying it on. All we're gonna do is spray it on and that's it. We're gonna take it all the way down to the footings because we wanna weatherproof, waterproof this thing all the way down to the ground. So it's gonna be using just a fine finish tip, low pressure. Don't need to atomize the product, just need to get it on, saturate the block. So um, it's a pretty cool project. We're gonna walk you around and show you this thing. And then hopefully we're gonna come back and show you what it looks like when it's all completely done and operating. So let's get to work. So I don't wanna be atomizing this product. I'm not gonna be running it at high pressure, super low pressure. I'm just gonna be using an HEA 311 tip to spray this product on. I don't want a lot of overspray. Um, it's not windy out here. It gets super windy out here at the Bruno Sand Dunes, but um, today it's a calm morning so far. Let's see how it looks. We've got a mask off, mask off the metal door jam over here because we can't get any of this product on that metal door jam because the metal door jam is going to be painted. Uh, we get some silicone on that door jam, it's going to be a nightmare trying to paint it. We're also going to be masking off the metal work up here. We don't want anything on that either. So that's what it's gonna look like. We're just gonna be going around spraying. Settle in. Let her run. Girl, your perfume is laying around. Feel your touch is on my skin. The sound of your voice is in my mind. And your smile Well, it's miles and miles away Settle in So I'm just working my way down Go here, just cruising right along And does, it's not going super fast Because I'm using a 311 tip And the one thing is, is, um, you know Adam's masking up ahead of me And if I used a bigger tip um, I'd catch up to him too fast And then have to wait But also, overspray uh, It's not windy out here It's typically really windy out here But I wouldn't want this silicone just flying everywhere and I'm um, using a smaller tip, low pressure helps control overspray. And your smile, well it's miles and miles away, settle in, let her run, feel the glide, yeah feel the sun, enjoy the ride, have some fun. Settle in, let her run. Tell oh, them goodbye, ain't the hardest part. It's goodbye, down in my heart. But you ain't here, struck with fear. You ain't lying in my Feel the sun, enjoy the ride, have some fun, settle in, let it run. I got to get to you, got to get to you, got to get to you, girl. So I settle in, let 
Alright, so we've gone all the way around. We're gonna start pulling masking pretty soon. I got um, a little bit of sealer left and it does snow out here a little bit. So I'm just gonna go and the um, contractor wanted, you know, this edge sealed really good, a second coat put on it. Um, they've got some type of um, sealer when they set the block down in between the block of the concrete, but you know, on the outside, we're just gonna seal that by spraying it one last time, you know, two blocks up. Chris, thanks for bringing your team down here, doing a great job. It's looking good. The products you're putting down are exceptional and uh, it's gonna be an exceptional project. Uh, here we, we're doing this project for the Idaho Department of St State Parks and Recreation. Mm -hmm. cool. uh, Joel is the project manager. He's running the show out here. He's here making sure that we're out doing our job and providing this uh, this amazing facility to the public, uh, yeah. which is what it's for. And then John with Veritas here, he's, uh, he's the general contractor in charge of the job. We specialize in observatories. We design and build observatories. It's a pretty specific trade. It has a lot of moving parts and, and ultimately the entire building itself, it becomes a uh, and piece of the equipment as, as the winds of Bruno come through. Bruno, uh, Bruno's <laughs> coming to life. It's been kind of dead all day long, but... Um, so yeah, we, we were uh, brought on as a design build contractor uh, and consultant to uh, construct this project, which is a, a CDK 700 telescope by Plane Wave Instruments, one of the top telescope producers in the world. And um, this is going to be a public outreach. The funds here is to provide both on-site viewing capabilities to the public, but also remote viewing. So as a, at home, just like you're watching YouTube now, you, you're gonna be able to log in and um, eventually utilize the telescope remotely um, through a queuing system or, uh, or just be able to participate in online streaming viewings that are conducted by docents here on, on site cool. in Bruno. So we're trying to resolve a problem here. We made a big mistake by tightening the interfeed roller. Thought it has already been used and delinted, and it hasn't been. And I just started off, and we've got lints all over this wall that I'm trying to resolve. Picking off the big chunks, you can see, and then I'm wiping it down before it um, dries. The smooth out the ones sticking up, and then. I'll go back and back roll it after that and it'll be fixed. But resolve it now that I won't have to sand it out when it dries. So it's a pro tip. Make sure you de delit your rollers before you start rolling. Somebody once told me that. <laughs> so I'm gonna start using my interfeed roller, start rolling up top working my way down the bottom. Use the interview roller so we don't create overspray and dust that we have to breathe. Don't have to worry about overspray dust all over the floor. Instead of going up and down, 
roll it sideways because this block, um, it's curved, so roll it up and down leaves um, trail edges. Nobody's left out. What these guys have done is, uh, it's a very, very exceptional in, in today's world. The great contractors, uh, good communication, and I think this project alone is going to drive a lot of people to this area. Walk through.